What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a fantasy draft in Madden 24 and also really just how uh, to kind of go along the draft, what players to draft, and what rounds, things like that. Uh, so to start off, obviously you need to go to the franchise feature. I have a few of my current franchise I'm playing as. Um, the Bucks, Seahawks, and Commanders, they're all my fantasy drafts. Texans, I was just doing a normal league with them for fun. But you go to Create New League, and this is also assuming you're doing this on your own. Uh, you will go to Use Active Roster. Um, I don't really do offline. I guess if you're playing alone, you could do offline. But Use Active Roster and optionally start a fantasy draft. Um, it'll import it. And just one thing to note, too, when I'm making this video, it's week currently week 12 in the NFL season, so a little over halfway in the regular season. And the, some of the players are updated to, um, to this week. So some players' overalls don't change at all. Some players change a little bit for the most part. So that's important to note, too. Um, I'm just going to do uh, the Bills. You know, when you're choosing your team, too, I believe you get the picks that they already have. But uh, So that's kind of important to note as well. So if you wanted to do a team with, like, a lot of picks in the future or if you like like their coach or like their jerseys, whatever it might be, um, that's kind of important to note as well. Um, it, if you go to starting point, you have to... Wow, I don't know why they're describing this to me, too. If you go to starting point and click fantasy draft, that's what you're going to want to do. Um, and then, you, obviously, you change the role, use custom coach. I don't really care about that right now. But one setting you are going to want to change, definitely. I like doing 10 minutes, and I usually do it on all Madden. Um, one setting you are definitely going to want to change, though, is you need to change the uh, fantasy um, draft timer to off. You could have it on. I would just recommend turning it off, or you can keep pausing it. And then you also want to change this to snake. Standard means if you have the first pick, you have the first pick in every single round, and that would not make sense for a fantasy draft. You want to do snake. It would give like the first picks just an insane... Uh, advantage over everyone else and then uh, you know you could change these other settings if you want I usually do like a few more X factors I usually bump that up to 60 just kind of have more fun I usually just bump all these up just a little bit just just to kind of have more fun um, the other settings don't really matter to me um, most of my leagues I don't really go past like a couple of years or so but uh, you could change other settings like um, you could change like the salary cap things like that I also don't really like scouting college players I just hate how they have it set up in this Madden, so I also usually change that too. I like doing all these things manual, but you know you could do it yourself. Um, you also usually want to turn off pre-existing injuries. If I I can't remember if I passed that one already. Yeah, uh, chain, turn off pre-existing injury. I usually sometimes turn off fatigue, but that's up to you. Um, just because players it, again, it's not very balanced in this game, I don't think. And then injuries, uh, you can turn those off. I usually turn out practice injuries because I just think it's not fun if a guy gets hurt in practice. But so yeah, pre-existing practice, definitely pre-existing. It doesn't make sense to have those on with this. Um, but definitely be sure to put it on snake because it just does not make sense to have it in the other standard one. So without further ado, um, we're going to start our draft. There's no other options. I don't think you really need to change here. Um, it is going to depend on what pick I have here. Let's see what I have. Ooh, I have the 31st pick. I actually sort of like having a late pick like this, because then I get a very quick pick in the next round, but then there's a huge jump between the round after that. So that's important to note, too. So sometimes when you have a pick like that, this, it is okay to reach. So in the first round, I would definitely get an X Factor or a Superstar. You could get a quarterback here, too. I'm pretty sure now in this update, C.J. Stroud is like the last, basically like, you know, quarterback you want available. But it doesn't. It looks like he already got drafted, probably because I'm slightly too late. So, um, in the first round, just get pretty much any X factor. I would probably recommend going like a really solid edge rusher here. Um, it's up to you. I, I believe actually most of the X factor like good players are gone. Let's see, Joey Bosa might be available. Joey Bosa is available. There's a very good chance I go Bosa here. TJ Watt's probably gone. Yeah, TJ Watt's gone. So there's a very good chance I go Joey Bosa here, unless Dexter Lawrence is still available. So Dexter Lawrence is still available. Ooh, I could go Dexter Lawrence here. That's very, very tempting. Or I could go Joey Bosa. Um, 
I'm assuming Crosby, yeah, Crosby's got to be gone. Crosby used to go late in the first, but now he goes pretty high. If Crosby was still here, I'd definitely go him. No. Chase Young is another good pick. Um, you could just go your favorite player here. It, it, it's really up to you. Um, in my opinion, though, I think I am going to go Joey Bosa just to get an X-Factor edge rusher. You could also go... Rashawn Gary here. I think he's super good. You can go Quinnett Williams. Uh, like I said before, Dexter Lawrence. I think Dexter Lawrence or Joey Bosa are both great options here. In my opinion, I'm going to go Joey Bosa just because I can get better D tackles a little bit later in the draft. So, again, first round, just go your favorite player. I, I don't like having the first few picks. Oh, actually, CJ Stroud just went. I guess CJ Stroud was still available. I didn't realize that. I would have maybe went Stroud, but that's okay. Um, so Stroud used to go in like the 10th round, then he moved up to like the 6th, then the 4th, then the 1st. So, uh, yeah, he moved up a lot because he's just been doing really well in real life. So, in my opinion, too, I'm going to wait for a quarterback a little bit. Uh, my, my choices for quarterback... Maybe Trevor Lawrence. I like going kind of younger guys that I can develop a little bit more. Justin Fields, I think, is a good option here. Bryce Young, if you want to go a rookie. In my opinion, who I'm really aiming for is Anthony Richardson in the ninth or 10th. Just because he's a rookie, you can wait super long on him. You know, he hasn't gone up at all in ratings just simply because he's uh, been injured all year. And, you know, maybe he would have been up if he was doing decent. Maybe not. You could also get guys like super, super late, like Desmond Ritter, Will Levis. Um, Trey Lance, Zach Wilson, uh, guys like that, but uh, that is not what I'm trying to do here. Um, you could even go like Dorian Thompson Robinson in like the 40th round or something like that if you wanted to go, you know, a super, super developed guy. But um, in my opinion, here, there's a couple guys you can get. You can get another really good edge rusher. Um, you can get a starting receiver. So like Amon Ra is available here in the second. Um, T. Higgins, Ayuk. I think you can get some young, really good receivers in this round. So I think I'm either going to go receiver or I could go another edge rusher here. But since I drafted one in the first round, I might wait because you could really, really stack your team here going like Chase Young. Um, guys like Chase Young, uh, Quinn and Williams, if he's still available, Chase Young is still available. Um, Quinn and Williams is probably still available at D-Tackle. Yeah, and Dexter Lawrence. Ooh, so yeah, you could get, I mean, a really stacked front line here if you go Dexter Lawrence or Quinn and Williams. But um, in my opinion, that might make your team like a little too OP, and that's not really what I'm shooting for here. I want to kind of develop younger guys at some positions that are fun to play, like line. So in my opinion, actually, if he's still available, if not, I might go one of those guys. Yes, he is still available. Uh, Tristan Wirfs. I almost get him in the second round of every single draft because... In my opinion, I don't want to develop a left tackle. Like, I just want my left tackle to be good because it's, in my opinion, the most important uh, position on your offensive line. So I think I'm going to go with Tristan Wirfs here. He goes pretty early in the second. He goes, like, early to mid-second round. So I am going Wirfs. He's a superstar. Yeah, it says I reached for him. I don't think so, though. Um, kind of ignore that. But now it's important to note. I have a really late third round pick. So my third round pick is going to be more like a fourth round pick. So in the third round here, and I could check if any guys are still available from the second round, like Brian Burns, a right outside linebacker. I doubt he's available, though. No, he's gone. I doubt any of those good D tackles are still available, too. Yeah, they're all gone, and that's fine. I was, I was expecting it. Yep, Ed Rutgers, yeah, those really, really good guys are pretty much gone here. So, in the third round, I got a couple options here. I, I'm, I think I'm either going to go a lineman, a receiver, or edge rusher, and same with the fourth. I'm either probably going to go lineman, receiver, edge rusher. So, a lot of the good receivers, good young receivers, like guys like um, Garrett Wilson, Devonta Smith, um, Deontay Johnson, Christian Kirk, Jerry Judy, Flowers, those guys are all going to be gone. You can get some decent guys later. In my opinion, you want to get at least one wide receiver in the top, like 10 rounds, unless you like really, really want to go developmental. But a lot of those good younger guys right here, like in the mid to upper 80s, are going to be gone. Um, Zay Flowers is a great pick right here, I think. Um, same with, I mean, the little older guys like Christian Kirk. He's not old by any means, but old for what I'm trying to do. I like targeting younger guys. Uh, T. Higgins is pretty good, pretty young here too. So you could go a receiver here. 
or you can go um, an edge rusher. So there's a couple young edge rushers that are a good option here. Uh, Will Anderson goes a little bit later, but you could definitely grab him in the fourth. I think he's a great pick either here or in the fourth. Oh, Montez Sweat, another good option, probably more in the fourth. Um, did Aiden Hutchinson go already? I think he did. Oh, man, Aiden Hutchinson at right end is an 86. Aiden Hutchinson already went. That actually was going to be my pick here, but he went. Um, he usually goes early third, so yeah, that's not super surprising, actually. Um, Garrett Wilson, some of those receivers are probably gone. Again, I, I kind of like developing receivers. I like getting rookies or really young guys. So um, Zay Flowers, I think Garrett Wilson's gone already. Jerry Judy's not a bad pick. George Pickens, Addison, guys like that go a little bit later, so you could get those guys as well. Um, the only other option here is getting a tackle again, which I just did, and let's see if they are even available. So Penny... Sewell is gone. He's not available. Um, yeah, so I think I actually, I, I might have to go an edge rusher here again. It's either going to be a receiver or edge rusher. So I could, ooh, this is tough. I think I might go an edge rusher. And I might go Will Anderson here just because he's a rookie. Where did he go? He's a rookie and he's fun to play. Let's see, Will Anderson. And it's okay if we reach a little bit here because it's the end of the third. So um, a lot of those guys, you know, and, we, and we're just going to have a long pick. Will Anderson technically goes the first pick in the fourth round. So I think I am going Will Anderson here. Or I can go receiver and hope Will Anderson's there at my pick. But I think I'm going to go Will Anderson. I think some of those receivers will still be there. So yeah, Will Anderson, rookie, fun to play as. Um, you can upgrade him to a superstar, so that's just fun to play as as well. And then in this round, I think I'm either going to go one of those receivers I was talking about that are still available, or you can go Kyle Pitts in the fourth round. In my, I, I, I like playing Kyle Pitts because he's just a really good tight end in this game. He's an X factor. He's basically always open. He's, in my opinion, just a, a really fun tight end to play with. He is a little bit OP, though, because he's super young, has an X factor already, and it's just really good. You can target rookie tight ends in this game or in this uh, draft because there's a ton of really good rookie tight ends like that you can get decently later. Like Dalton Kincaid, he's an 80. You can get him in like the 12th round, I think, or something like that. Sam Laporta, 76. You can get him pretty late too. Uh, there's a couple other ones that are probably a little bit lower. Michael Meyer, pretty good. Musgrave is actually really good, and you can get him super late, and he could even be your starting tight end. So you could definitely go Pitts here. Um, if not, you could just wait for a tight end. The good tight ends do go pretty early, though, so that's important to note. So in the fourth, let's see, I got Will Anderson. I got alignment, so my edge rushers are pretty much down. I will have to get some D tackles. I think right here I'm going to go a receiver, and if Flowers is still here, I think I might choose Flowers as my receiver one. It's important to note, too, that in the fifth round, uh, a couple quarterbacks go, like Fields is gone by the um, fifth round. I believe Young goes sixth, fifth round as well. Um, there's a couple other receivers like Alave, Addison, JSN. They all go in the fifth round too. So my next pick isn't going to be late fifth. So I probably want to go a receiver here. I'm going to go Flowers. He's fun. He's a rookie. You can develop him. He's young, super quick. Um, that's what I'm going to go with here. So now I have a late fifth round pick. So this is probably going to be more like a sixth round pick. And I don't even hate going like a quarterback right here. Um, if you want to get some of those guys, let's see, Fields is probably gone. Bryce Young is an option here if you want to go with him. <laughs> I know in real life he's struggling quite a bit. Um, I mean, he's pretty short. Yeah, he, he's got some decent accuracy and things like that. He can't throw it very far, though. I, I don't love going Bryce Young, but maybe if you're just a fan of him, you want to go him here. That could be a pick for you uh, for sure. Um, I could go, let's see, if Creed Humphrey is still available. I don't think he will be. If Creed Humphrey was available, I could go Creed Humphrey. I think Frank Ragnow is a, a good option here. He's a 90 overall, and he's a really good center. He technically goes in the sixth, I believe, but I think he's a good pick here. If you want to just go another lineman, I like my lineman early, like I said before. Oh, Trey Smith at right guard may still be available. He is available. That's another good option. He's much younger. He's only 24. Really good option there. Um, you could um, you could get another edge rusher here because, like I said, edge rushers are going to be going quick. Um, I, I don't want to go an edge rusher here just because I don't really need one. So I think either here I'm going to go receiver or lineman. 
So my receivers, let's say you still left a receiver. Actually, let me see if Kyle Pitts is still left. If Kyle Pitts is still left, which I doubt he'd be my pick, but no, he's not available. I didn't think he would be. So let's see who's still available at receiver. Chris Olave. Ooh, I thought Chris Olave would go earlier than that. I'm very surprised Chris Olave's here. That could be a definite pick. Um, Pickens is also a good pick here. Drake London. Technically Puka, but I don't. I think he's still... Oh, he's superstar now. Wow. Okay, so Puka... Nakua could be a great pick here. That was recent. I did not realize Puka Nakua was an all-star here. Um, ETN goes pretty soon as well. You could pick ETN. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to wait for a running back. I'm going to probably get like a rookie or a second-year running back that I can get a little bit later. But wow, I did not realize that Puka Nakua, that actually could be a pick here, although that might be a little OP. Um, yeah, you could definitely go Puka here. Um, or you could go lineman and wait for another receiver. Again, I don't mind doing that. Um, so you could at left tackle. I don't know if there's a lot of guys left for this round. Yeah, no one left for this round, really. Um, like I said before, you could go Ragnow. You could go with a guard, Trey Smith. I think either one of those would be fine picks here. Ragnow's a lot older, older higher overall. Um, Trey Smith's younger, a little bit of lower overall, but he's 6'6", 321. I mean, he's like a beast. Uh, Ragnow's a really, really good center, though. Uh, either one of those, I think, are a good pick. But it is there's a couple of centers you get later, like Linden Baum. There's a couple of rookies as well. So I think I might wait on center. I think I also might wait on guard, because I don't mind sometimes getting younger guards. But again, I just don't like developing them. I think I think I might get another receiver here, because I like having a couple solid receivers. I like getting young guys that you can develop. But Puka, I, I feel like Puka's got to be the pick here. When do I have Puka going? I have Puka going. Kind of later, too. Puka might be the pick. I'm going Puka. I did not realize he was a superstar X-Factor. So, yeah, that, that would be a steal. Um, now we have an early sixth. Now I think I'm going to go with that lineman, either Frank Ragnow or Smith, if both of those are gone, which would actually be super annoying. Yeah, I'd definitely go Frank Ragnow. Or Trey Smith, I think I, I love Ragnow, but I think just because I can actually get some younger centers who are pretty decent, I think I'm going to go Trey Smith. Let's see if there's anyone else I want to snag in the seventh. It's important to know Bijan goes in the seventh pretty early. I don't really have any other guys I want in the sixth round. Uh, some other decent guys, uh, a lot of edge rushers go in this round. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to wait. I think I know what my next picks are going to be, too. Hopefully they're available. So I'm going to go Trey Smith. Just to get another decent lineman. Guy's huge. I like him. He's good. Um, seventh. End of seventh. Like I said, let's see if Bijan's still available, just to show you guys. Uh, Bijan is not available. I like getting Jameer Gibbs, Devon A. Chain. Guys like that are fun. Uh, Brian Robertson's fun, too. James Cook's is fun. Um, so this pick right here in the seventh, so in the ninth, I'm probably going to have to go, or even in the eighth, maybe I'm probably going to have to go a quarterback here in the eighth. So right here, um, a couple guys that I like targeting and he might not be available still is Jalen Walker is a really good, or not Jalen Walker, Jalen Carter is a really good D tackle here. And I think he's gone already. He is. Jordan Davis, another good one that goes a little bit later. I think Jordan Davis goes in the ninth. He does go in the ninth, but he has a superstar rating. So I think that would be worth it right here, in my opinion. So I think I might go him. That Oliver is really good, too, and young. But I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go Jordan Davis here and then go my quarterback. So, so far, I got two guys on defense. I could get someone else on defense right here, which would be Jordan Davis. And D tackles like thin out pretty pretty quick too. I'm at, I'm at Jalen Carter's not here still though, so I think I'm gonna go Jordan Davis right here, and then next pick I just want to get Anthony Richardson just to get him, just so I don't miss him. Because if you do miss your quarterback in like this round, like I said earlier, you'll end up getting like a really really bad quarterback super late. So technically, according to my numbers, Anthony Richardson does not go until I believe the first pick in the. Oh, no, he does go mid-ninth now. He does go mid-ninth. So Anthony Richardson is the pick here because he won't be available later than this. So if you want to get Richardson, get him eighth or ninth. Because, yeah, ninth, he probably would have been gone here. So I have a really late ninth pick. 
Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to check if some receivers are available. So guys like Jamison Williams, Josh Downs go, um, Tank Dell, Marvin Mims, John Dotson. You guys like that are probably gone. Josh Downs still available. Um, some of these guys are pretty low. Jamison Williams, but I already have two receivers. So if I got another one right here, like one of those guys, my, my receiving core would be pretty stacked. So I don't really feel like I need to go receiver here. But that's definitely an option if you just want good receivers and you don't care about um, developing them as much because there's some younger guys you can get. But, yeah, so I think I could go receiver here, though. Um, I could go Jamison Williams or uh, Josh Downs. Uh, but I think... So we have late 9, early 10. I could go someone on defense. I could go alignment here. Um, you definitely could go receiver. I could go cornerback because I don't have a good corner yet. Uh, so I think in this pick, you know what? I might go receiver here. I could go receiver and really stack my receiving core. Let's see if Lindenbaum is still available at center. Oh, I could get another good lineman here because, again, like I said, I don't like developing as much. There are a couple good rookie centers um, that... I probably could find really quickly that I could get here. Like Joe Tippman is a really good option. He's a rookie. You can develop him. But I might go Lindenbaum just to get another good lineman. And then I'll have an early 10, which I could go receiver or I could go someone on defense, I think, are my two options here. So I could go at Oliver a D-tackle. I could go at Oliver a D-tackle. I could do that. If he's available, he is available still, since I missed on Jalen Carter. Or I could go a cornerback here. So 10th. Ooh, or I could go running back, because my next pick won't be till super late 11. So a couple good running backs that I like go here. So I do like going, like I said, Jameer Gibbs, Devon A. Chain, uh, a little bit later, Brian Robinson... James Cook, Tyler Algier, guys like that go. I do actually kind of like Jameer Gibbs here, just to get him. Because my next pick, like I said, won't be super late 11th. So Devon A-Chain, who's really fast, really good. Or Jameer Gibbs, who's just kind of similar. He's a little bit better at catching the ball, though, I believe. I think I'm going to go Jameer Gibbs here. Because I don't like waiting super late for a running back, although you could get like crazy good value. I think you can get Gus Edwards in like the 30th round. But in my opinion, this is this is where you need to go here. So uh, moving on, 11th round, late 11th. Uh, I'm just going to be curious. I want to see if those running backs are still available here. Yep, yep. So they would have went. So that was a good pick there, in my opinion. Um, you still could get some younger running backs as well. I'll probably get a power back behind him, like super late. Maybe Tyler Algier, if he's there, super late. Uh, maybe A.J. Dillon. There's just, I, I think it's good to get an losing back and then a power back just for like goal line carries. Um, Zach Charbonnet is available too, very late. Um, <clears throat> just so you guys know there. Then late 11th, if Makai Becton at right tackle is still available, that's probably going to be my pick here. And he's a 76 overall. So, ooh, Makai Becton is still available. He's a superstar right tackle. So that's probably going to be my pick here. Um, there's Braxton Jones is available. I could go a corner kind of soon because I do need one of those. Uh, I, think, I think I'm going to go Makai Becton, get another lineman. And then Dalton Kincaid in the 12th, because I have an early 12th, and hopefully Dalton Kincaid is still there, because that's kind of my go-to tight end in a lot of these drafts, is I don't go with Pitts. <clears throat> but yeah, now you have two superstar linemen, which is just a really good start. And then if I go tight end, hopefully Kincaid is still here. Kincaid is here. So Kincaid I have going in like the next couple of picks. So Kincaid would be the pick. Um, just so you know, you could go... A running back here. There's a couple of good D backs that go. Like um, I'm just gonna look for you guys really quickly. There's a couple of good D backs, like um, a lot, a couple of good quarterbacks, young ones at least. You can get them pretty late though. Um, I believe Brian Branch is already gone. Yeah, it looks like he's already gone. Uh, but my pick here is gonna be Kincaid. He's fun. He's actually really good. He's easy to develop, and he's a rookie. So yeah, solid tight end there. I think. Uh, moving on here, we have really late 13th pick. Um, some of those running backs that I listed earlier are probably gone. If you're like, oh man, I don't have a D-tackle yet, sometimes Fletcher Cox is still available in the 13th. 
and he's a superstar. He is still available, so I, I'm not going to go him because I don't want a guy like that. Oh, wait, he was a superstar. He's not a superstar anymore, so that's interesting. Um, some of these ratings, they just changed, so I missed those. But still Fletcher Cox, uh, pretty good pretty good option there. Um, there's a couple good guards. Peter Skronowski is still available at left guard, or should be still available. He is not so available. He got drafted. So, yeah. So, wait, wait, what rank is he? He is 76. Yeah, he's not available right now. Okay, so he must have just got drafted. Um, that could have been an option here, too, to fill out my line. I feel like I have to go D here, though, um, because... <clears throat> Um, just because I don't have anyone really on defense yet. I've mostly got offense so far, which is okay. Um, Sam Laporta goes pretty soon, too, if you were looking for another tight end. Trey McBride goes pretty soon as well if you're going for a tight end. I think here, so I have, I'm have. i going to have, I think my next pick, I'm going to go Jack Campbell, at middle linebacker. And at this one, let's see, is Desmond Clark still available at right outside linebacker? It could be a good choice there, although... I technically have one already. That's okay. You can just switch to the other side. Desmond Clark is 75. He's not available. He went. Nope, there he is. Could go Desmond Clark here. Another good young edge rusher. I think that's a really good pick. Um, I think that might be... Oh, wait. Is that who I want? Oh, no. Demoni Clark. I keep saying Desmond Clark. Demoni Clark. Uh, you could go Darnell Savage here at free safety. I think I'm going to wait there. You could go another lineman. Uh, I think I'm going to go with him and then Jack Campbell to get at middle linebacker next. So as you can see, I like going rookies here or like second, third year players. So Jack Campbell is a big, uh, easy to develop linebacker. And hopefully he's still available here. He should be. He's pretty low rating, though. Jack Campbell uh, is definitely going to be the pick here. Uh, he's just really, really solid. Um, you could, you know, there, you, you do have a pretty good big gap here. If you don't have, like, your two edge rushers down, I would definitely go edge rusher here. So I'm definitely going Jack Campbell here. Oh, wait, did I not draft him? I did draft him. Okay. So late 15. Uh, if you don't have your line, like, pretty pretty out right here it's probably be a good option to go that um paris johnson jr should be available at right tackle or he might have just went yeah if he's not available then he like just went he's a 74 yeah he might have like just went he gave me an option there um other than that you could get a receiver because receivers are starting to really thin out i like aj epsonessa at right end he's a guy that's like an actual developed guy like he's not um any rating he's a normal rating so that's someone you could really develop but he's 24 he's 6 6 he's a power rusher he's pretty good um if i didn't just pick a couple edge rushers i would go him but i'm pretty set there um you could go someone at d tackle too right now i only have one d tackle fletcher cox is still available actually but yeah so i'm gonna have to get someone like kind of weak at my other d tackle spot but that's okay i just missed out on that earlier i could also just trade for someone at some point but uh so right here i'm thinking i'm going to go there's a couple of options i could go here because i can go nolan smith jr who i like at left outside linebacker and I could go Travis Jones at, and my next pick at D-Tackle, although I'm kind of reaching here with both of those guys. So at left outside linebacker, I could go two guys. I could go B.J. Ojolari if he's available, or I can go Nolan Smith Jr. Nolan Smith Jr. and not Aziz. Uh, B.J. Is, is, is this him? Is he the same guy? Am, am I just like... It, it, the, did he change his name? Is that his real name? But oh yeah, this is the guy. So <laughs> I guess maybe he has two nicknames. I didn't know that. Um, Aziz Ojolari or Nolan Smith Jr. They're both uh, like almost exactly the same, like almost the same height, weight. Um, I think Nolan Smith Jr. might be a little bit faster. Let's see. Aziz <clears throat> is really bad at pass coverage. 61 speed rusher. 72. Let's see. Nolan Smith is speed rush 72 pressure so almost yeah almost exactly the same i just prefer going nolan smith just because he's just younger and you can develop more um at my next pick like i said i think right here uh who's the pick i also did i draft puka too early i don't know maybe i drafted puka too early uh, I think I'm going to try to get a D tackle here since I'm pretty thin there. So Travis Jones hopefully is available because um, usually you usually want to have like two decent D tackles. Uh, let's see, Travis Jones is he's pretty low rating, 73, but I believe he's a rookie or a sophomore. I want to say 
He's 23. So this is going to be my pick here. I reached on him a little bit. He technically goes in the 17th, but with my pick, I think that's fine because I wouldn't have been able to get him at this one. So now I have late 17. Um, you might be able to get an edge rusher here. You might want to start going like D-backs. There's a couple young receivers like Jaden Reed goes here. Quentin Johnson goes. Um, there's also a left tackle. Broderick Jones could be a big pick here. Um, it, you know, a receiver might not be a bad pick, but I'm pretty set. Actually, I could go receiver. I only have two. I forgot about that. I only have two receivers here, so I could go receiver here. Some of those younger guys might have went already. Let's see. Let's see. Romeo Dobbs still there. Uh, I believe they're pretty low rankings. Yeah, I think actually all those rookies I listed off are gone. But I could still go a receiver here. Jonathan Mingo, I like getting super late. Same with Isaiah Hodgins. Those are two good guys to go um, super late. So those receivers are gone, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, I don't see Jaden Reed. He was a 74, unless I missed him. Um, at free safety, if you want to start going D-backs, too, because I have literally none right now. Um, let's see if he's still available. Jair Brown, he's pretty low rating. Might still be available. Jair Brown... Lewis Sign is a good, or Sign is a really good pick. Uh, okay, so he's not available. Really good pick, super late, though. Um, so, yeah, actually, a couple of guys I want here are not available, so I may have to reach on a guy that I want in the 18th. Are any of those receivers there? I really could go over a receiver here. Like, is K.J. Osborne even available? Quinton Johnson, guys like that? K.J. Osborne is a 76. Mm, no. Yeah, K.J. Oh, no, K.J. Osborne is available. Um, Quentin Johnson, I, which <laughs> he's really struggling in real life, but he's a 73. Is he available? If he's available, I might go him just because he's fun. Sky Moore goes really late, too, if you like getting a younger guy. Oh, Quentin Johnson is available. So you could go Quentin Johnson or KJ Osborne, who's technically better. But I know Quentin Johnson's been struggling in real life, but it's a good pick here. So now I have early 18. I think I'm going to reach here. Um, Again, if you don't have D tackles at this point, you should probably snag a D tackle, um, just because a lot of the even like bad guys are going now. So I have an early 18. Um, also, if I'm missing a left guard, so Berkinson at left guard actually might be the pick because he probably won't be available in my next one. So if Berkinson is still available, he's pretty low rating though, I believe. Berkinson, yeah. Might go Bergeson here. If you don't have a receiver, you could go him. Again, he's just a rookie. I think I'm going to go Bergeson here just to finish off my line. So my line's actually really decent here. There's a couple other guys you could I could have went later. Like I know um, Osiris Torrance is available later. He wouldn't be too bad of a pick, but that's fine here. Um, at this pick, 19, I, I you could go receivers. So guys like Isaiah Hodgins, you could go D-tackle. Uh, receiver Nico Collins still available. A couple good guys are available that you could go. But um, I think right here I'm going to go get my second middle linebacker because middle linebackers are getting really, really thin. Um, I think if he's still available and he's a really low rating, I'm going to actually do it by age. Uh, Drew Sanders still sh should be available here. Is he not available? All right, I guess I'm going to do it by overall. Uh, let's see. Drew Sanders is a 71. He might even be lower than that. So he's going to be like way, way down here. But he is someone who's pretty decent who goes. Uh, let's see. Is he not available? Oh, he might. Did he go earlier? Or is he lower than this? Or did I miss him? Let's see. We doing last name is sometimes an option too. No, he's not available. Okay, so my pick there was going to be Drew Sanders. I guess I'll have to get some a little bit later here. I think actually I might see if Cam Smith at cornerback is available here. Uh, hopefully he's available because I do not have any cornerbacks. So either actually Christian Fuller or Cam Smith could be an option here. Is Fuller, did I pass him? I do not see Fuller here. So Cam Smith might... Oh, there's Fuller actually. So Fuller or Cam Smith, who's technically worse but younger and has a better rating. So, Cam Smith is hidden. I, I think that's the option here. I'm mad Drew Sanders isn't available. I'm going to have to pick someone a little bit later. That sounds good. But I think I think Cam Smith might be 
might be the, the go-to here. I, 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 I don't really see anyone else. I'm kind of mad about that. I think some of those people were, some of those other people were a little bit better, but I'm going Cam Smith. It's a little bit of a reach again, but not a big deal. Actually, they say it's not even a reach according to this, but um, so moving on here, now we have our 20th pick early. See, I had Drew Sanders going here. I'm surprised he's not available. Uh, I, if Christian Fuller is still available, it could be a good pick there. I actually love getting Boogie Basham here. He's a left outside linebacker. Uh, he might not be available, though. Let's see. Boogie Basham, he's a 71. There, oh, he's a 70. He's available. That's a really good pick there. Um, you could get your fourth receiver here. Um, I have a ton of good addressers on this team, so I definitely could trade one of them away, too. Um, Boogie Basham is a great pick here. Some of those receivers, like I said, like Jonathan Mingo is still available. That's a good pick as well. Because um, my next pick's not going to be super late. I might go middle linebacker here, though. Uh, Trenton Simpson would be my go-to pick here if he's still available. This would also be the time you want to get your backup running back uh, because those guys start going. So if Trenton Simpson is available, he's pretty low rating. I think he's like a 70. Um, I'm going to go with him. If not, there's a couple of decent ones, like Tyrell Dodson's not bad. and There's a couple of Terrell Bernard, actually, would be my next pick if he's not available at middle linebacker. He's pretty decent. Um, he's been playing good in real life. But <clears throat> Trenton Simpson, uh, he's pretty big, 6'2", 234. I think I'm going to go with him. He's a rookie, too, so that's just kind of more fun because he's got that trait. Um, if not, like those two other guys, Bernard Dodson are pretty good picks as well so i have a super late 21st pick i might go my backup running back here so some guys like Algier, Algier, how do you say his name Algier, he's not available anymore yep he just went um kenneth gainwell goes antonio gibson gus edwards guys like that go also a good option at cornerback because i have not picked or i've only picked one cornerback so far if he's still available available which i might go with this instead of he's still here is christian benford he actually should go like right at this pick trey flowers isn't bad late either um just because he's super young i don't think he has any sort of rating though technically but let's see if benford keely ringo is good late to did Benford go already? He might have gone. Yeah, I don't think he's lower than a 70. Although he could be because he's kind of not been doing good in real life. But is he? No, he's not here. Okay, so Christian Benford is not here. So I'm either going to have to go with a running back, which I think is good because you want to get a decent running back. Um, just so you know, too, at guards, like a couple guys are still available that I think are good picks, like uh, Osiris Torrance and Steve Oliva of Villa, I think his name is. Is still available here, or he should be available here. I don't think he is actually, but Osiris Torrance. Let's see if he's still available. He should still be available. He's a really good. Yes, this is a really good pick, which I'm not going to grab because I have my guards. He's really, really good pick for this late in the draft. So I thinking I'm going to go have to go half back here, which is fine. I don't mind doing that. You could get an older guy like Gus Edwards, who's like technically a little bit better than them, but um, or you can go a younger guy that's. Uh, not as good as a rating, but you can develop a little bit more. I think either either one of those are a good pick. Um, I think, just in my opinion, I'll probably go A.J. Dillon, just because I kind of like him, and he's pretty good. Uh, yeah, you still have guys like Delvin Cook who are available, who was like a superstar rating <laughs> at the beginning of the game. But I think I'm going to go A.J. Dillon here. Um, I'll probably say I got him in a crazy good. Yeah, like he's... Never going at 331, though. <laughs> um, so early 22nd pick. Uh, it's also good to know. Oh, I could have went Zach Charbonnet if he was still available. Um, now wouldn't be a bad time to start picking your backup quarterback if you were just interested in getting a decent one. Um, guys like Will Levis, Josh Dobbs, who's just kind of fun now because he's actually been playing really good in real life. I think Tyler Huntley go here. So if you're kind of trying to get like a backup quarterback, um, just know those guys start to go here. I think I'm going to try to get my cornerback here, Kaylee Ringo. Kaylee Ringo? I don't really know how to say his name. I think he's been playing pretty good in real life too. Correct me if I'm wrong though, but he goes here, super young, super developable. Uh, you can develop him really easily. Uh, I'm going to go him. He's 21. I mean, come on. Can't go wrong with that there. Uh, I might. I don't really care about backup quarterback as much. I kind of like getting a younger guy plus uh, a vet to really coach him up here. Um, I think Sky Moore 
should still be available. He goes here. I know, again, he's not really playing good in real life, but just kind of a fun younger guy that you can get here. Um, I'm not going to go back up quarterback here, so you could get them. Khalil Shakir is another fun guy. I might actually go him here. Um, he's another fun guy to go here uh, just because he's young. He can play in the slot. He's actually like super um, develop. You can develop him really easily. You could go a strong safety here or cornerback. So this is where the D D backs kind of start going here. Like you probably should start picking one soon. I think I'm gonna go receiver and see either Sky Moore or Khalil Shakir is here. Is Shakir not here? What do I have Shakir ranked as? He is should be going in the twenty fourth. He's a seventy three. Could have got um D ranked though. Let me do it alphabetically. So Khalil Shakir, I like him too because I'm a Bills fan, and obviously you can just always pick <laughs> your own fans, but um, no, nope, not available. So Sky Moore could be an option. Uh, I don't love that though here. Alec Pierce, another option here. Or like I said, the backup quarterbacks are starting to go that are, uh, you know, like just not like completely horrible. Uh, you could go one of those backup quarterbacks here as well. I, I personally don't care. I'm probably going to get Dorian thompson Robson later because he's like a legitimate guy you could actually, like I think, run a franchise with in this game. So that's like important to note. Uh, but I think I, I'm... I'm uh, yeah, I'm going to get one of those receivers. I, I wish Clear Secure was still here. You can still get one of these high-rated guys too if you like really want to get a solid overall guy. Um, I just don't, don't want to do that. But... Um, for this one, but you could definitely get them. Skymore, Alec Pierce is probably the option here. Skymore, I'll go Skymore. Why not? I don't love him. I don't hate him. But now I think it would be a good time to start going some uh, D backs. Like get, like basically get your D backs here. So there's not. Uh, whoops, not kicker. Uh, at strong safety, Marte Mapu, I think is his name, or Terrell Edmonds. Even Taylor Rep is a good option. So if Mapu is available, which he is, he should have a hidden rating, which is my favorite are the best to play as. So I'm going to pick him, and I might go another strong safety or corner here, depending on who's left. If Terrell Edmonds is still here, I'm going to go him. If not, I might go Taylor Rep, because those are both just good options at both of those. So let's see if Terrell Edmonds is still here. He is, and Taylor Rapp is here. So let's see, Taylor Rapp is 25, Terrell Edmonds is 26, but a higher overall. He's a little bit faster too. I, I think either one of these are fine. Uh, I'm gonna go Terrell Edmonds here. He actually weirdly sometimes goes super, super late. Like I've been in like the 30th round, and he's still available. So, uh, so here you're still getting like decent players that you probably you know know their names. But uh, I could go, I could get another safety here i'll probably move one of those guys to to free safety you could also get a corner here there's some decent cornerbacks still available to andrew booth jr who's a rookie i believe oh if also if you do not have like an edge rusher for some reason like you were like oh i forgot to draft which i technically don't have a right end but if you are like really late here boogie basham oh wow i can't believe boogie basham's here that might be my pick boogie basham or, oh, he's not even available. Calabian, like, Chaseon is usually here. And he's not. Boogie Basham is actually my pick. Because I thought he goes way earlier than that. That must have changed pretty recently. That's who my pick is there. That's a pretty solid, really, really late. I mean, come on, what round are we in? 27th round here? That's a really, really solid pick there. All right, uh, let's see, 27th late. So some of these guys that I have too, like they could really go anywhere here. If Stromberg at left guard is here, right guard, that might be the pick. Malcolm Rodriguez is available. Louis Cine should be available. I think any of those guys, so if he is available. I, I just want to show you if he is. He is. Ricky Stromberg is available here. He's a good rookie. Um, I'm going to go either Malcolm Rodriguez at right outside linebacker, which I didn't see him before. He is still there. That's a really good, again, really, really good, really late pick. You could go Louis Siam, um, who I don't personally just need just because I just don't need him right now. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to go Malcolm Rodriguez, although my ad rushers are stacked. I could trade Joey Bosa away for a really good player and get, you know, 
and, and still have a really stacked one. Oh no, Luke Musgrave was going to be my next pick, but he just went. That's annoying. Um, here, I'd recommend. There's a couple like really, really good uh, young linemen here, like Stronberg if he's still available. Uh, Joe Tipman if he's still available. That could be a really good option here. Um, you could get you start getting your backup running backs too if you haven't gotten one yet. I think I'm gonna go Joe Tipman here. He's a rookie. He could be your starting center. He really could be. He's 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 really pretty solid and he's a hidden talent. So um, I'll leave him on my bench for now, maybe. But uh, let's see, 30 or 29th round. Um, one guy that's kind of fun just to get is uh, Deuce Vaughn here if he's still available, just because he's just like I think the shortest player in the game. Um, Ty Johnson, really good backup option if your running back gets hurt, right here. Uh, Deuce Vaughn is just a funny option. Um, he's just, uh, he's 5'6". I, I, he's just fun. Uh, you could go Deuce Vaughn here. He's not actually good, but at this point, I mean, who cares? It's it's just so late. I also start reaching here. Uh, I think actually my pick here might be a middle linebacker, Terrell Bernard, if he's still available. He actually was upgraded a little bit, so I don't think he is available. Terrell Bernard. Oh, he's not available. Terrell, Tyrell Dodson might not be a bad pick here, too, because my middle linebackers are pretty they're young but they're not really great but that might be my pick here um to do but i think i'm gonna go tyrell dodson it's the Buffalo Bills. Now um that might not be a bad pick i like that here sorry about the barking my dog just saw another dog walking across the street um now we're getting really late uh, i i mean just just reach on guys that you just really want um, I like also uh, tight end. There's two options here that I think I'm going to reach on. It's either going to be Taysom Hill. Actually, I might just get both these guys back to back right here. Or Shoemaker, because Shoemaker. Did he go? Nope, he's a 68. He is a hidden talent. Uh, I'm going to wait for him because I, I don't think he's going to go right here. I will pick Taysom Hill right here. He technically goes later than this, and this is a reach, but he's just really fun. He can play like 10 different positions, so I mean that's just fun to play with. He can play fullback, quarterback, tight end, receiver. Like He can do anything. Now I'm going to go Shoemaker here just because, again, I'm just reaching on guys like I want to get. Um, Darnell Washington is also fun too. No way Shoemaker went. No way. Oh my gosh, he went. So I'm going to go Darnell Washington. That's annoying. Shoemaker is hidden talent. Darnell Washington, although he's a rookie, I don't believe he is hidden talent. No, he's not. He's 6'7", 264. He's just fun to go with. There are technically better guys you could be picking here, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go my another middle linebacker here. I, I, I don't know why. I just like getting good linebackers, too. I could go cornerback here, though, because I don't technically have a lot of corners. But uh, I just want to see if some of these young guys are available. DeMarvion, Overshawn is a really good pick here. Uh, Henry Tutu is also a really good pick here, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, I think either one of those guys are decent. I'm going to go uh, just DeMarvion, just because he's available here. Um, Tyrell Dodson, if he's still available, isn't too bad. I think he got an upgrade recently. Um, again, right here, you're just kind of going, guys. I make a depth at D tackle here, just because there's not a lot of a lot of guys available here still. Um, let's see who's and I'm really right now. I'm not really missing any positions right now. I'm pretty much have all the positions I need other than special teams. Um, so let's see. Byron Young might still be available here. He's a 69 overall. He's pretty pretty fun, pretty decent from Alabama. He's a rookie as well, I believe. <laughs> Go him there. Uh, Matt Shoemaker was gone, though. That's like a steal, like super, super late if you want to do that. So now we're moving on to 34th round here. Ooh, so a couple guys. So now I'm going to be really reaching here, but um, at this point, just get who you want. Um, Tyquan Thornton, do not leave the draft without him. He hopefully did not go yet. I know he's like your receiver five or whatever, but... He's like literally one of the fastest players in the game, and there's no reason not to get him when you're this late and you're just drafting whoever you want. Get Tyquan Thornton, and also do not leave the draft without getting a halfback. Um, let's see, he's pretty low overall. I'll just do it alphabetically. Um, I, I, I do not know how to say his name. I think it's Kane Nguagnu or something like that. Sorry, he's a, some, some of these guys just have really hard needs to pronounce uh he's still still be available yes he is still available get both of these guys they'll be return backs they're just fun super super fast players at this point you're probably drafting speed or drafting death um another good guy to get 
that again I'm reach I'm totally reaching on those guys. They won't go for a few more rounds. So if there are guys that you really want, like that you just like, draft those guys, but I am reaching pretty hard on these guys. So at right tackle, uh Kelvin Beecham Jr. still be, should be available. Again, this is just good backup pieces. He's super old, but he's like a seventy four, so if one of your tackles get hurt, that's like a good replacement. Um other than that, again, here's where you just start drafting whoever you want. I'm like if you look at like the overalls here, you can get a really old quarterback, cornerback, or a really old receiver. Um, you could go your backup quarterback here too. I usually go with Joe Flacco because he has like a development trait. I'm gonna get my backup here, Dorian Thompson Robinson. He's just fun. I'm also gonna go. I might go my next backup, Joe Flacco, just to get him, just because he's available. I think at the very last pick of the draft, but just why not? Um, those are my two backup quarterbacks I usually go. You know, if you had someone you liked, you wanted to go earlier, feel free to go with them. I think Connor McGovern should be available at center, but I don't really need a center. But if you guys want to... Ooh, Ben Jones still available, too. If you guys want, like, a good center, like, these guys are still available. So center you can wait on, like, crazy if you want, even, like, Feliciano, Bozeman. Some of these guys aren't bad, too. Super, super late. Um... Let's see, you could go an older receiver here as well that has uh, like a mentor. So you could go Cole Beasley, because I'm done picking receivers now, or Julio, maybe Randall Cobb. I know Cole Beasley has the development factor. So I would recommend going Cole Beasley super late um, just to develop your guys so they'll create like breakout scenarios for your guys I, I believe there's not another way to do it again here too if you have like pretty weak corners you could go a decent cornerback as well that's like pretty old though i mean i think all these guys are well over 30 for the most part but that's that's okay um <laughs> one guy that i just noticed people like going who actually would have been a decent pay player if, you know all the craziness didn't happen um damar hamlin is still available i'm a bills fan too so i i just kind of like going him I and mean, he's really I don't know, he's still not, he's not available. Graham is not available. He could be a guy to go here, though. Um, yeah, he's not available. I'm surprised about that. Uh, let's see, at left end, which I think I technically don't have a right end right now, which is fine. And this is more like trade player and an older veteran player for development uh, to help develop the younger guys is Jerry Hughes. Um, again, super old, but actually like a decent overall. This late, can't really go wrong with that. Um, a couple of receivers you could go here if you like want a couple of young guys too that are like really fast. Justin Shorter, Xavier Hutchinson. I'm actually gonna do it by age because they're pretty young. They might have gone already though. Yeah, Justin Shorter, Xavier Hutchinson. Both of those are good. I already have six receivers, so I'm probably not gonna go with them. Um, another running back you could go to. So at this point, I'm actually running out of players that I want to draft. Like I'm just kind of picking at. Like my list is running running really dry um dare ognabe however you say his name again sorry apologize for mispronouncing that he's just got a very very difficult to pronounce name um you can go him again super fast i think i think he's one who like kicked a ball the other day too uh you don't really need four running backs though if you already have three um so here, I'm really running out of players to draft. I'd probably just go a good corner. Just go an old good corner just for the development. I'll go Xavier Rhodes, 33 years old. That's fine. We're getting late here in the draft. Um, just a couple other things. I'm going to sim the rest of it. So a couple players you want to get no matter what before you leave the draft. Um, you want to get a fullback. You don't have to. I'm going to, though. You want to get a fullback because they go undrafted. Either go Kyle Jeskowitz, Patrick Ricard, or Reggie Gilliam. Jeskowitz is the best and has the highest overall and can easily be actually upgraded above star. So uh, that's who I'm going to get. Reggie Gilliam's super young, so he's another good pick. Um, and he has a star rating. Uh, but that's really up to you. And then you also, so I got a fullback. Again, if you don't just want a fullback, because most teams don't have them nowadays, you don't have to go it. But then go your kicker. Go Evan McPherson. He's the best one that has a superstar rating. You, and the youngest, you, you could go other guys like Justin Tucker, but um, McPherson just makes more sense. And then get your punter. Uh, there's only one punter you want to get, which is AJ Cole. He's just the best. He's a superstar. Unless you're like, oh, I really love my team's punter, but just go AJ Cole. He's, he's, he's just too good not to get. And then other than that, 
that that is all the guys I have on this list. Um, there's really, I mean, it's getting like super, super thin, like really old players here um, or guys that are like barely on rosters. So at this point, you could probably just uh, simulate the rest of it unless there's like someone you want to get or just like technically I don't have a right end. I could just snag a right end just to like fill it up positional you know, positional wise, um, you know, Keem Hicks. I actually know who Justin Zimmer is. I might just go him here. Um, he's just huge. But here, it doesn't really matter. Pick who you want. Uh, at the beginning of the year, there were still actually decent guys like that I could pick this late. But now that the game has been out for a while, there is just nobody that I even want. So um, at strong safety, because I don't, or no, at free safety, because I technically don't have one yet, I'm just going to pick. You know, whoever is available, Sorensen's not bad here. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, there's there's just, you just want to fill in your positions if you need to, but I'm going to sim the rest of it. There's literally not any other guys I want. So, and ending here, I'm going to cut this off in a minute or two just because this video is insanely long. Um, I'm just going to show you the final roster, show you what I got. And again, this isn't like the OP, the best possible roster you could have gotten in the game, but it is like a really good roster with a ton of good rookies and a ton of good, really young players. So in my opinion, that's more fun and better to do. You know, you could do the first pick. You could get Josh Allen or, you know, Patrick Mahomes or whatever, but I think this one's really fun. And even Puka Nakua is actually kind of OP at receiver here. But so my first three receivers are Zay Flowers, Puka, Quentin Johnson. I'll put Tyquan Thornton as my receiver three. I could have gotten one more receiver, but that's all right. Jameer Gibbs, starting right back, super fun. A.J. Dillon's his backup for goal line carries. Anthony Richardson, Joe Flacco for the development. Darian Thompson-Robinson. Kyle Juskowitz, is, I, in my opinion, I leave every draft with him. And even Ty, uh, Taysom Hill could be your fullback. Uh, Duncan Kincaid, Hill, and then Darnell Washington. Makai Beckham, superstar. Trey Smith, Lindenbaum, super good. Bergeron, really good as well. Um, I, I leave every draft with Wurfs as well. Uh, he's just a really good second round pick. If you don't want to go super OP, my defense actually is not as good as I wanted it. Some of these people I'm going to have to move around a bit, though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like Will Anderson's really good. Who's? Oh, yeah, Joey Bosa is like technically my other run. It. If I do generate best lineup, maybe that'll kind of fix it. Um, Joey Bosa is technically my other edge rusher. Same with like Nolan Smith. Like some of these guys don't really play outside linebacker. They're just edge rushers, but it kind of gets messed up. So you have to mess around with that. Middle linebackers ain't bad. Uh, Jack Campbell will probably start Trenton Simpson over uh, Tyrell Dodson. Uh, cornerbacks are young, but not terrible either. So if you did this draft earlier in the season, I'll probably play him or start him as well over here. So if you did this draft earlier in the season, um, your team would probably be better just because it's easier to get good guys super late. See, um, Taekwon Thornton and um, Nick Wandu could be your return men. But, um, and then my third down back would be Gibbs. Like Gibbs always going to play Puka at the slot or Quentin Johnson. But um, overall, this seems pretty good. Is it the best team you could have drafted? No, but is it super fun? And does it have a ton of rookies and young players that you can develop? Yes. My, and... I mean, on this one, my line's pretty stacked. Like, you'll never have a problem with blocking. Um, your receivers are, are really good, actually, but they're pretty young and developable. And same with on defense. You have a couple good edge rushers. You, have, you can play as Joey Bosa on the edge. You can play as Will Anderson. You can play as Jordan Davis up the middle. Um, all, all pretty solid. So other than that, guys, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. I could also drop a list of, like, the list of actual players that you want to draft. But other than that, I'm going to cut this video off. Thank you for watching.